gifts are supernatural it's not natural gifts are so and also gifts of the holy spirit is is the manifestation of holy spirit we can see holy spirit manifestations in gifting through gifts you know so healing if healing is done that is the manifestation of holy spirit prophecy that's without holy spirit we cannot do these things so these gifts are from the holy spirit only so gifts are given to bring uh, um, uh, people uh, back to the place where from where they have fallen that's why gifts are given that's why supernatural power is given to bring people to a place from where they had fallen because that's the word it says right everyone sing and fallen short of the glory of god you know so actually uh, when uh, adam committed sin he fell from the glory so we were uh, in the glory before so now the gifts will help us to come back to the glory again that's why that is the purpose of power mm. given so because for example a person is sick so in the glory there is no sickness mm. right so the gift of a healing gift will work to bring that person mm. back to the health mm. Mm. so that is the purpose of uh, holy spirit gifts mm. right so for example a person is down right so that's not the glory in the glory we are joyful amen right so that's why a uh, prophetic gift is given encouragement is given to per people to build them again to bring them back to the joyful position you know for example enemy planned something uh, very dangerous for people right so that's not god's glory people need to be safe and protected that is the glory right so the gift of holy spirit is given you know it's a word of knowledge first of all we will know what is happening and the word of uh, wisdom and we will apply the knowledge in a way to protect uh, the person from the trap of the enemy and bring back to the glory again mm. into the same you know so that's why i'll tell you wisdom is also used to protect ourselves from the trap of the enemy mm. so for example i'll give you some examples um jesus right uh, when uh, pharisees came to jesus and asked you know uh, is it right for us to pay taxes to um caesar mm. and then what uh, his reply is mm. take the coin and see mm. you know so oh, what belong to caesar give to caesar mm. what belong to god give to god because he know why they're asking the question mm. because they want to trap him mm. suppose if he says mm. you know uh, don't give mm. to give to god and give don't give to mm. caesar mm. then they can report rebellion mm. caesar mm. about that see he is against the law mm. you know so that's why jesus used that wisdom to protect himself from that trap that was the trap because they they set it up in a such a way to trap him how to take him to the court so that's why sometimes god gives us wisdom to protect ourselves from the trap of the enemy so another example abraham abraham um taken his wife uh, uh, to the egypt and um, he knows that if they come to know that's his wife they're going to kill him and uh, uh, for, for the sake of wife right so then he had to lie it's not a lie actually see in such a way he mm. said you know she's my sister mm. he said so actually mm. if you see mm. 
in that culture in that time they marry um, cousins mm. Mm. so is like a far relative mm. she is you know cousin only so that's why he used that word mm. is not lying at the same time to protect himself from the trap then so can be white lie he can be white lie white lie <laughs> i don't know what do you call that lie or what <laughs> i don't know so but god will that is a gift that's a gift of holy spirit uh, at that time god will give you uh, really what to do Uh, you know that's why solomon asked for wisdom he asked for wisdom because he is a uh, king he is a king and he has to judge all the people mm. so he asked for a uh, god's wisdom because uh, he do not want to do any injustice to mm. anybody right so and you you had seen that the wisdom when two mothers came mm. for the child you know so the child they everybody claiming two mothers claiming the child but he used that uh, discernment because the one who really mother mm. is always think uh, this way right mm. a real mother always think that he do not want the child to be harmed <laughs> so you know what the real mother said okay go take the child Mm. take the child but i don't want uh, uh, the child to be cut to pieces you know so then uh, um, uh, that's how solomon get to know who is the real mother so that's there it's a discernment also discernment and wisdom also okay so that is also gift of the holy spirit and all these gifts are for the common good but mm. our good only god has given Amen. all the Hallelujah. gifts um so how uh, gifts will be operated my experience i'll tell you how uh, when gifts are going to be operated is if you really heart had to serve god and second thing is if you really heart for the souls and if you really have heart for love love for the souls then uh, i really experience a love is the most excellent way to operate gifts because that's what uh, apostle paul mentioned that you know i will show you the excellent way to operate gifts of the holy spirit is that love mm. he says even though you have that you have this and mm. if you don't have love and you have nothing he says but if you have love you have everything you yeah. know so that is that's why i uh, in the beginning of my uh, christian days when i saw people operating gifts in my church i was so excited about those gifts and i was really asking god not give me gifts give me gifts of holy spirit then god said don't focus on gifting but focus on loving my people Mm-hmm. So then I stopped asking for the gifts and I started asking Lord I want to love give me love for people. So when I was doing that automatically without any effort gifts were flowing. When I was uh, uh, praying for people with love with love when I prayed without my even my knowledge gifts were naturally operate i was just using gift of prophecy without even my knowledge and i was using gift of healing without even my knowledge because i was only concerned about a person health that time mm. i really wanted the person to be healed mm. so i was just praying with burden and that gift of healing operated mm. if you see that's how jesus healed people mm. whenever he see a person is sick he felt compassion for the person and then because of that compassion the healing power is released so i really uh, experience this love is the most excellent way to operate gifts of the holy spirit 
The second thing is also uh, um, measure of faith. Gifts are going to be operated according to the measure of faith you have received. So it means every person do not have same faith. Every person level of faith is different, right? So accordingly, gifts will be operated. Because that's the word says, Apostle Paul said, the grace according to the grace given to you, mm. use your gifting. What is grace? Grace is the power of God. Mm. The power is always connected to the revelation you have in the word of God. Mm. In the knowledge of God, the revelation, mm. what you have. So, based on the revelation, your faith will be there. Mm. That's why Apostle Paul, they're all connected. That's why Apostle Paul said, according to the measure of faith, mm. you use your giftings. Mm. So, uh, um, for example, for me, you know, um, in the beginning, I thought um, uh, my faith level was very low in the beginning. Mm. So I used to think this way, ah, this sickness will go. My faith was that, you know, simple, simple things, I had faith. You know, we, I used to think like that. See, I told you, you know, I never thought that drugs, uh, a person can come out of drugs. That, I, that, that possible, I never thought. I never had faith for it. Mm. So, that's why I never, if you don't have faith, you don't see. Mm. You don't see that uh, that gift being operated in you. So, after I uh, gone through this experience, when God spoke to me, then I received faith. So, I received, when I received revelation, I received faith. So, because I received faith, I could move in the power of God mm. and that happened so um, now like a, before my faith was not that much even for healings but now um, my faith level about healing is increased mm. at some time I was thinking like that if I pray for healing it will happen gradually Mm. I used to think like that, you know. Hey, it will take time, maybe gradually. Like I used to tell people, you know, uh, it will, tomorrow you will see little improvement. Mm. And after that, more improvement. Slowly, if you will get better mm. from now onwards. So that was my faith. So because I declared that, that was only mm. <laughs> happening. So according, it, it's, it doesn't mean that God takes, needs time to heal a person. Mm. That was my faith. So he can move according to person faith only. Mm. He will not go beyond your faith. Mm. Right? So, um, now my faith is increased. Mm. Is because since I, after I was uh, going through the gifts of Holy Spirit, there is another gift there. That gift is miraculous powers. Mm. Miracle is different from healing. Healing is, mm. a, is a process. But miracle is a sudden it's shift. Standard. That's why it is called miracle. Mm. Right? So, when I gone through those uh, list of gifts, uh, then I, my eyes fixed on miraculous powers is one of the gifts. Then I thought, oh, why I didn't never ask about miraculous powers? You know, so then, yes, maybe I can move even in that gift, miraculous powers. Mm. So suddenly it can happen. So my faith level increased, mm. you know, and let me tell you one, what happened, miracle. So I went to um, uh, Swaruparani, she asked me to come. You know that little one, the mm. little one uh, had, uh, what do you call that, um, that eye, twinkle? Cross. No, squint, no. Squint. Squint, squint. Like this, they look in one. Ah. Yeah, you notice that? Yeah. So, the child had that, right? So, when she asked me to pray, 
I got faith. I have faith because God already spoken to me about miraculous powers, right? Mm. So I had faith. I just put my hand like this and said, I command it has to come normal right now. I said it. With faith, I said it. Immediately came normal. Yeah, I give you a message today, testimony. She please messaged me in WhatsApp saying that her eyes became normal. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That sudden, sudden uh, fixing happened. Praise the Lord. So this had never happened before. Mm. Yeah, I even as uh, Hina was saying, you want to share that testimony? You prayed for a lady who had pain. Yeah. Yeah, that Saturday we went um, for a meeting and there was a lady there. And uh, we prayed with her, and uh, she had some stomach pain, and uh, uh, she was instantly healed. Praise the Lord. Instantly. They were, they came instantly. And instantly. About it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like that, um, now faith, according to your person faith, God can move mm. his giftings, right? So um, sometime back, even I had uh, faith for not just people, having uh, healings and all that. <coughs> I had faith for, when I saw one day, my fan was ceiling fan in India. <laughs> ceiling fan was not working. <laughs> so then I, I was looking at the fan and I thought, for God, all things are possible. I can uh, command this fan to work. <laughs> Suddenly, I, I don't know, I, I got the faith. <laughs> I said to the, I looked to the fan and I said, in the name of Jesus, I command this fan to work. <laughs> Immediately started working. <laughs> you know? yeah. So, uh, and after that, um, my co-sister uh, um, called, uh, called me, um, can we go to fridge uh, uh, dealer shop to uh, bring some mechanic because my fridge is not working, she said. <laughs> Then I went to her house and I did not know I had faith, you know. So let me, because this happened, why can't this happen? <laughs> you know, so God can even fix bridge because mm-hmm. that uh, mechanic is not showing up. So I said, okay, show me where what is happened. Then I opened the fridge door and she said, that motor, right, that, that engine is not working. So just uh, put my hand on that wind engine and said, I command this to work. Suddenly it started working. Praise the Lord. You know? So, but it, it, it never happened all the time. <laughs> that time, mm. that movement, I received faith. Mm. And I did it. You know? So it's not I did it. The gift in me worked. Mm. So that is one of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm. So Super. miraculous Miracle. powers. <laughs> so that's why I want you to aware of these giftings. If you are not aware of these giftings, you are never going to use them. Mm-hmm. Want you to aware, you know, like a, so that we can move in supernatural power. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we will be in trouble. If we don't know, we will be in trouble. Because of one day, uh, we were on the highway from the Niagara Falls coming. Me and uh, uh, Joan's uh, cousin was with me. So we both were coming. It's very dark. And um, uh, there was no gas. <laughs> it was over. And I don't know uh, where to take. To take exit, it takes time. So we are in the middle of the highway. So don't know what to do. So I thought, okay, we have God now. You know, it be nothing to worry. Always we have supernatural power with us. Why we don't need to go to, into troubles and all this. Let's use that. You know, we prayed. We prayed, I don't know, nothing empty we came. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, so um, one time you also had yeah, that, right? I remember you it increased share. from one to two it began. Yeah. You know, like all of a sudden it was coming from, I think, from downtown. Because just to get to Gardner, it took almost 45 minutes. I'm like, I can't, I don't know what to do. And then it increased all of a sudden when I reached home. Same thing with brother also when he prayed, I said, you know, when they, my leg, I had solid pain in the ankle. Mm. And it's gone till now, you know, it's completely gone, the pain. Praise God. So, mm-hmm. uh, that was, uh, you know, mm. supernatural. Yeah. 
Yeah. One day we were asking, I don't know who asked you to pray for everybody, and you came there and prayed, right? Somebody asked you to pray, and I forgot it was, but mm-hmm. I, I received that was instant. Mm-hmm. So, like that is not only healings, we can think, even any kind of situation, any kind of trouble, uh, we can just call upon the Lord, mm-hmm. and the gift can be operated because. He has given us supernatural power to protect us, to put us safe, mm. and to bring us into the place where we can be in the glory of God. Hallelujah. We can move in the glory of mm. God. <coughs> well, what I do you know, when I was a, a teenager in India also, when I was going alone with a person, somebody was drunk, alcohol, drunk, and in the dark night. You know, in India, it's no safety, right? Mm. To walk on the roads alone. And that bo- that man was just chasing me. And I don't know where to go. It's dark night. No one was there. I just said, Lord, you come and protect me right now. You know? So, suddenly what happened, that man came near, closer, and suddenly he said, Mo, she has a light there. And just gone away. Mm. So he saw light, so and then he gone away. So uh, that's why, you know, nothing to worry. We have gifts of the Holy Spirit. We can use gifting because I want you to aware of the giftings. If you are not aware of it, you will mm. never use it. Okay. So yes, according to the measure of faith, I said. Um, and also, you know, when you um, have more word, knowledge in the word of God, more revelation in the word of God, you know, um, for example, when I was reading Joshua, uh, there's so much revelation I was receiving in Joshua. Um, see, then, because of the revelation also, what happens, I can move in the giftings. Um, so many things that uh, um, I don't know I was preaching right? mm. all these weeks yeah. I was preaching about the, uh, Joshua my faith increased now you know so mm. nothing to worry about the whole principalities mm. they uh, come against you and uh, God just simply said one word to Joshua don't be afraid mm. I've given them to you Amen. You know, so that increased my faith uh, today. Um, even in any kind of situation, God will just intervene. God will come through. You know, we only have to be not to be afraid and uh, trust in the. Uh, Amen. Trust in God. Hallelujah. Sister, I have a question. Yeah. Like if I know someone is cursed. Reading that uh, Abraham, Abraham, uh, about uh, what uh, is Abraham, God made a covenant Mm. with Abraham. When we are in the covenant of God, Mm. when we are in agreement with the God, covenant, Mm. you have to be, make sure you are in the covenant with God. Mm. So God said to Abraham, Mm. whoever curses you, I will curse them. Whoever bless you, I will bless them. Right? So the covenant uh, is that obeying God, Mm -hmm. then God is going to be with us. Amen. No matter what it is. When we obey God, He's going to be with us. So if people curse, God will take care of it. Mm. You don't need to worry. Amen. But actually, I, I experienced in my life, people, the more they uh, blasphemy me mm-hmm. and put me down, the more blessing yes. I receive from God. Amen. Yeah. In all my life, I've seen that more elevation, mm. more honor, yeah. and more blessings. Mm-hmm. And also, I saw more authority. Mm. So, But one thing we have to be sure is that I'm in the covenant. Mm. I'm obeying God. That is, 
as long as you obey God, God is with you. God is with you. Nothing can happen. Hallelujah. You know? Okay. Uh, Sometimes uh, we go through testing before we actually move into the good seat. Mm. Because I gone through testing a lot in my good seat, gifting. Because in the beginning of my Christian days, it was so easy to move in gifting. A lot of miracles happened, a lot of healings happened. We thought even my knowledge, people used to tell me, I got healed, I got healed. Mm -hmm. but after a while, suddenly, I told, right, oh, the fan moved and all oh. those things <laughs> happened. Suddenly, after even coming to Canada also, when we were in that other church, uh, that uh, the lady who was so barren, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, immediately, when we prayed, immediately she got conceived. Actually, they have problem, more age, age also. And doctors also, they have some problem. They said it's not possible for mm. her to conceive. Just simple faith, it worked. But after that, everything shut down suddenly. When we started this ministry, mm. and I wondered, we prayed, it so easily happened that time. Why suddenly, when after starting ministry, miracles stopped? It just shut down. Everything becomes so hard. Pressing on, pushing, praying, praying, praying to. I need to pray more to see one breakthrough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, I asked God about it. You know, because when you start a ministry, the principalities mm -hmm. of the city are standing mm -hmm. against you now. When in before I was working under someone mm -hmm. else covering. Mm -hmm. They already overcame. Mm -hmm. Those principles. Ah, so I was not directly mm -hmm. confronting principalities. Mm -hmm. I was under somebody. Mm -hmm. So it became easy for me to move in miracles. Mm -hmm. Even in Zion Fellowship, we were under them in that church. So they were our covering. It became easy for us to move in miracles there. But here after coming here, we become in. The, we are in the front line. So we also have to gain authority mm. okay. in order to move in miracles. We have to gain authority over the principality who is standing against us. Once we achieve authority over the principality, all those healings, whatever um, the principality is stopping, the attacking, everything will happen now. Suddenly. Mm. Yeah. So that I understood later. Otherwise, I was doubting myself. Did I do anything wrong? Am I wrong? You know, I was questioning myself. Am I fallen from God? What is wrong with me? It's a testing of faith. This is, I've gone through a guilty, I've gone through condemnation, guilt, something is wrong, something is wrong. Then, um, God slowly giving me understanding about, no, you have to gain authority over this prince. You have to pray, overcome, and uh, uh, still testing of your faith, patience, perseverance, mm -hmm. still believing that, that God is going to do, God is going, is with me, and obeying God, no matter what it is, mm -hmm. still obeying God. All this is a paying price. Mm -hmm. So when we did all that, slowly it's okay. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know? So, um, sometimes we go through testing mm. before actually we move in. Yes. Okay. And then, um, I want to talk about uh, another gift, really. Uh, mm. Other thing is... Um, is not nothing about us because that is also another test. You know, I was blaming myself. Maybe something is wrong with me. That's why healings are not happening. Mm -hmm. That uh, God showed is not because you are righteous. That's why I'm healing that person. 
God wants to heal that person. Because you are holy, that is why I want to heal. So that person healing is not connected with your righteousness or with your holiness. Right? God wants to heal people. That's what we, I understood that. It is nothing about us. God wants to heal people. Hallelujah. We really have to know that hey God, this person is sick, but God wants to heal this person. Then you receive faith. That is the will of God. You have faith for it. You know? Otherwise, if you look to yourself, you lose faith. Oh, I'm not good. Mm. I'm, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. So that became easy for me. No, it is the will of God. God wants to heal that person. Amen. God uh, only wants faith mm -hmm. in a person to heal others. So we need to come to that stage of faith. Mm -hmm. Do not doubt then God is going to use person's faith to heal other person. Yes. Okay? So, and uh, other thing is uh, also, um, yeah, uh, we used to think that only for some special anointed people only can heal others. That is also wrong uh, mm -hmm. belief. Huh? The gifts are not for only few people. Gifts are for every child of God. For everyone who is saved. Huh? This power of Holy Spirit is given to every person Amen. to bring them back to the glory. It, is, it, means, it means you have to agree so only for some people glory belongs. Not every believer is, do not belong to glory. No, every man and woman belong to the glory. <coughs> so gifts are for everybody, not just for some special people. Okay? So, um, so we have to realize it's nothing about us. God wants to heal people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some, okay, gift of discernment. Huh? So, I want to speak about gift of discernment. I, I already spoken gift of wisdom mm -hmm. and other gifts we already spoken last yes. last week class. But this discernment and, uh, uh, is also a very important gift. And uh, gift of discernment. Uh, so, now I really uh, want you to know we discern what is uh, from God, what is not from God. It is not only about evil spirit or Holy Spirit. It's nothing about, it's, okay, it is also about evil, discern is the evil spirit or Holy Spirit. Huh? Um, and not only spirits. This discernment is also applicable to recognize people also people also, who are from God, mm. who are not from God. Spirits and also people. We can use this gift. Okay? So, uh, about spirits, I will tell you. Mm. One time, I was really Scarborough cell group. I was uh, praying for people to receive Holy Spirit. So, we were praying for Holy Spirit. Diddy came and uh, uh, when Sister Leah laid hands on her and prayed, oh, uh, like a, a lot of us do that, right? Sometimes, oh, we go excited. She's speaking in tongues like that. She's doing. Sister Leah said, shut up. She said, oh, I was shocked. I was just standing there. Sister Leah said, shut up. She said. And then uh, she said immediately, oh, you got me. You caught me. You caught me. I went to many, many servants of God, many men of God. Nobody caught me. You caught me today. So she is doing that with every pastor. 
so when they heard she speaking in tongue she's getting away with it so nobody stopped her or rebuked her the demon was nicely hiding behind those tongues mm. right so so that's uh, why because i saw it next time this happened then i could easily relate to that mm. oh my god so there are people who who can speak in tongues but still have demonic mm. possession right so that's why uh, discernment is very important gift of discernment you need to discern your in your spirit what is holy spirit what is evil spirit Hallelujah. so and um, second thing discerning people who are from god who are not from god joshua because in the bible it says in the last days there are many mm -hmm. wrong prophets will come mm -hmm. in my name and deceive many and deceive many you know even they deceive yeah the good ones too <laughs> not only they deceive they said they deceive even chosen ones it means it's not only people who are in wrong side deceived even the people who are in right path also can be deceived so um that's why what have the solution for this the example is joshua Joshua is a man of God. Is a man of God. Servant of God. He even this deceived mm. by that mm. uh, those uh, right, yeah. Gideon Gideonites, mm. right? Yeah, give you give your Give your night. So when they came in that uh, clothing that mm. you know Walnut. Yeah, wonder clothing and the stale food and all that and um, see by seeing their appearance by seeing their outer things by hearing their words also mm. what did they say oh, we came from long mm. uh, way long uh, way mm. you know far mm. joshua believed it and he been deceived no so the word clearly says joshua did not inquire god so that is the reason we've been deceived. We mm -hmm. get deceived if we don't depend on God. Anything, we people come up to us and tell stories. People can come up to us in a pity, pity face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, pity, sad story they might tell. Just because you have a love for people, you have compassion, that is another thing. Enemy will very cunningly deceive you, saying that what kind of a Christian you are. You know, those thoughts will come. Don't you care if other person is in trouble? Don't you care? Don't you have compassion? You know, what kind of a Christian you are? 